Hello guys, it's Warren. welcome back to the channel. This is Alpha Omega Daily. Do you know what I'm gonna to do today? I'm gonna to buy a motorcycle. Well, the Thais call it Motorcy. Um, it's an electric bicycle, basically, but it looks like a scooter. Um, and one of the reasons I'm getting this is, I have a bicycle, the rim broke, it, it snapped in two of the back wheel, um, going over a pothole here. Um, I've had I had the bike for two years and I said to myself will I buy another bike uh, like a push bike or will I go for an electric job you see the reason I'm kind of thinking the electric thing is there's no tax and insurance and I mean the wife has one of these look so that's an electric um, tricycle it's a good little yoke but I mean there's no way I'm gonna get on that I mean I don't have I wouldn't say much of an ego but come on lads that's a but I'm going for the two-wheel job. So if you're interested in what it's like to buy a motorcycle stroke electric bicycle in Thailand, stay tuned. There's where we are, if you can read Thai. Uh, and there's a selection of the vehicles that he has. So it's a few hours later and now we're at the motorcycle shop. It's in Pat it's an actually Klong Luang Patutini, which is about 45 kilometers outside Bangkok. But this is uh this is an ex uh, this is a dealer. So he's just assembling the bike at the moment, so let's have a look and see what he's doing. Yeah it is red actually. Yeah, it's red. Yeah, it's red. Super red. So this is like an Aladdin's cave. I mean I mean if I had I mean if I had the the need for one. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful looking machine. Look. Absolutely fantastic. You know, if you had the need for one. But there's such an array of electric bicycles. They're becoming more and more popular. Uh, that's more or less the one I'm getting, the Galaxy. That's the same one, only it's in blue. That's the blue version. Yeah, so the only thing about it is I'm about 183 centimeters. Um, it can take up to 180 kilos, if not more. But it's the the, the kind of the leg room. But it's it'll it'll do. It's fine, you know. There's the battery. Look. That's the battery. There's two batteries. Two batteries. Sorry. Or four batteries. Yeah, because there's the four batteries going in. How many batteries are there, Harry? One, two, three. Four. There's another there's space for another one there. That's the finished product. There you go. So they're just finished assembling it and it's delivery tomorrow. So join me tomorrow. It'll be tomorrow for me, but a couple of seconds for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's tomorrow and there it is. So guys, it took a while to get here. They said they bring it to me by 10 o'clock this morning. Then they changed it to 12 o'clock and then they changed, well, it arrived at half past 12. But apart from that, everything was hunky-dory. So, Basically, I've never ever ridden a motorcycle before in my life. This is not what I would class a motorcycle as classed as an classed as an electric bicycle, even though it behaves like a motorcycle. It's got a throttle, it's got the brakes, the whole shit match. Anyway, you'll see what I mean. So there you go. Here I am on my Galaxy Star electric bicycle. Although it behaves and it resembles a scooter behaves like and resembles a scooter. It is in fact classed as a bicycle. So as I said before, I don't know if I said before, no tax or insurance required. Um, it's, I suppose, I hear, I believe the maximum speed is 60 kilometers per hour. I've been coming down here because I've had to do this in the local temple. I couldn't be doing demonstrating this on the on the roadways, and the temple is the only sort of quiet kind of uh, plaza. Let's say you can do something like this. Um, but I got up to about 30, 38 I think it was, on the way down here on the back streets, which is fairly nimble and you feel like you're scooting along because you're still fairly, you're fairly close to the ground. 
my advice to you guys is if you're coming to Thailand, be careful um, in relation to what for, mode of transport you use. I've been driving a car for the last 10 years, I still have my car. Um, and as you said earlier on, I switched to a, I didn't switch, but I bought a bicycle a couple of years ago, but you know, the rim on that broken. Some people might say, why didn't I just buy a new wheel? Well, it's not as simple as that because my tie isn't great and the guy who, who I brought the bike back to didn't have the rim, the, 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 the bicycle shop, and he said, you buy the rim online and I'll fit it for you. But I wasn't, you know, I wasn't going to measure it, do all that kind of shit. So I said, look, I'll just get one of these and it's absolutely fantastic. So guys, remember, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, click the like button, click the share button, do all those wonderful things and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. I'm just going to take a jant on my electric bicycle.